welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel please subscribe even if you are not new to still subscribe okay subscribe to my cha channel especially if my videos has really been helping you in any way Just please subscribe oh subscribe and like the channel all right so on this video now i want to show you how you can log into your now your national open university email student email okay because i noticed even the the gmail most people find it hard except you are using laptop but if it is phone most times it is difficult for you to assess your your gmail with uh, your, your your student email with that gmail app if you try to open it to keep it to keep loading telling you opening messages or getting messages and it loads to you forever and never opens so here is a very quick and easy way for you to access your national open university student email okay now before we start before we start you make sure you have your your the email itself just copy it out okay because that's what you use that's your your student email that was given to you after registration and after you paid your fees okay so just keep it handy and if you've already opened your gmail before if you've opened your gmail before keep your your password to handy because these are the two things you will need to access your student's email so you see these three dots these three dots up here by the right these three dots here i'm using chrome this is just my browser google chrome these three doors by the right, you just tap on it. Tap on it. You see the first one, there is new tab. You also see new incognito tab. So you tap on this new incognito tab. Um, if I should go incognito on this video, I don't know why it doesn't show. I tried doing it before. It doesn't show on the video. But I am seeing everything with my phone here with me. I'm seeing everything on the screen. But it doesn't show on the video. So I will only tell you what you will do. Okay? So it doesn't show. As in whatever I'm doing, if I, as I continue to teach you or show you how to go about it, it will just be black once I go incognito. It doesn't show on the video. But it shows on this, on this phone. Everything I, that is on the screen, I can clearly see it myself, but it doesn't reflect on the video. I think it's because of the back, the black uh, background. That's why it doesn't reflect on the video. So let me just tell you what you do. Just tap this new incognito tab. Okay. You see everything now has gone blank, but I'm seeing everything myself here telling me i've gone incognito then you also in in the place where you type the link or anything or you are searching for tells you to type or search for any url so let me go back let me go back so that i'll continue telling you what you should do okay <clears throat> so after you Tap on these three dots on the upper right. Go incognito. And then on the URL tab, that's it. Just type gmail.com. Okay? Gmail.com. Just type it. Gmail.com. Gmail.com. Gmail.com login. Or something okay let's see whether 
get this gmail g gmail dot com I see from that your gmail.com login mm. oh from your gmail.com login from your gmail.com login you will see sign in you see sign in okay this one is just taking me directly to my email because my email is already open so you see sign in once you see sign in put in your your email your student email that one that starts with n o u just tap just type it out remember your email the n o u is it's um small letters so just type it in and then it will show you next it will show you next okay tap on next when you get to next you put your password when you put put your password and you tap on sign in or login and you have gotten your email your student national open university email will just open and you see all your mails okay these are just very easy way because i notice many people are finding it difficult to open their email i keep seeing people on on different groups complaining that they can't find their email that's the quickest way very very easy way it's not even up to five minutes you open your email on your browser don't forget on your browser on your phone the, the browser you're using on your phone like this one now is google chrome okay you come here you tap on the three dots by the right the up top right uh, dots there which is this one then you go incognito that's the first step then step number two on the URL tab, which is here, type gmail.com and then you see something like sign in. It will open and then you see something like sign in. So type type your student email. Type your student email. If you are just opening the email for the first time, no worries. You don't need to go to anywhere or pay anybody to get this thing done for you because these are the same things they will do for you. Some might just use their laptop and all for you. But you can do it with your phone. Remember, if you are just opening your email for the first time and you've not generated any password, hmm? You just type your after you put your email that you were given that your student email the next thing you type is you just i think that should even be your password too it is both your password and your student email okay it is both your password and your student email that email you were given will be both your password and your student email. That is if you are opening your, e your student email for the first time and you've not generated any password. Okay? That's what you do. If you are generating your or you are opening your student email that you were given for the first time and you've not gotten any password yet, use that same email as the password okay so in the signing 
username or the e the email that they will tell you to type in the email address you type in your student email then on the password you just put that same student email as the password so after you are done opening the email when it opens you can change your password but if you have opened your email before and you've gotten your password you have changed your password you have changed it to another thing entirely different from your student email which is also which is very important because your email might be at risk since everybody knows the password of student email are usually the same with the email so it's very important that if you are opening your student email for the first time change the password okay generate something else for the as the password so if you have not opened your email before i want to repeat it again your student email will be for the email the the tab where they say you should put your email that's after going incognito and typing gmail.com and it takes you to the signing page your student email will be put your email and your password so after you log in you can now change your password with it you see there there will be options for you to change your password but if you have opened your email before your student email before okay just type in the email on the signing page after you've gone incognito and you've tapped you've typed gmail.com and you get to the signing page on the signing page on the signing page put your student email then on the password put that password that you have changed put that new password you you've gotten once you input these things you see your email will just automatically open and that is how you can access your student email okay just do these simple steps and you you will not find it hard to always access your student email you know that's where most details are sent there are some lecturers of national pool university that will even send you link to their lectures directly to your email why you can access others too on the e-learn portal there are others you can access both on the, the e-learn portal and your email there are also other information that the school, school sends to you on your email so it is very very important for you to be able to easily access your student email with your phone so you can open it anytime any day okay i have video already on how you can log in to your e-learn portal search through my video i might even drop the link just search through my channel you see the video there on how you can access your e-learn portal remember your e-learn portal is where you have access to your lectures details of your lectures your assignments and other tasks that you are required to do from the school okay so it is very important for you to get hold of these two things first your e-learn portal go through that video i will drop the link of that video at the end of this one i'll drop the link so that you can easily assess it on how you can open your e-learn portal so that's the first thing you need to know how to open because that's where you'll be getting your assignments your lectures and and other activities or other tasks that you are required to do then the second one you need to really get hold of is your student's email and that is what this video is about i just showed you how you can assess your student email i'll repeat the steps quickly again on your browser 
go incognito tap on these three dots here and go incognito just tap on new incognito tab while i'm i'm not doing why i'm not doing it here on the video is because once i go incognito every the background will just be showing black but i'm seeing what is on my screen here but on the video it does not reflect so that's why i will not go directly incognito now okay so just tap on the three dots go incognito that's the first thing then you type gmail.com then you sign in with your e student email and put your password and then you open your student email so don't forget how to open your e-learn portal and your email because these are the place places where you have direct communication from your school your lecturers and all okay so don't fail to subscribe to my channel share these videos to other students because there are many people looking for help some people are taking advantage of it and be extorting students okay and these are things you don't even need to pay one naira for you can just do it with your phone just your phone okay so go through my videos how to open the e-learn portal share it to other students and also share this video too you are very free to share the videos as much as you can so that you can also help other students okay because students are really looking for that uh, help they keep asking questions okay i also have another video too on how you can download your your course online also have that video how you can download your course online i will drop the two videos at the end of this one so that you can easily <coughs> uh, assess the videos and watch it to guide you on how you can download your course materials because some people too do not know how they can download course materials and the hard copy of these books are not available in the center as at this time so these videos will really help you and don't fail to like if these videos help you don't fail to like and also subscribe okay bye i wish you all the best as you start your program